What's up guys, welcome back to the vlog. It is a brand new day and I'm looking absolutely insane and it's totally fine because in the next five hours, I won't be looking like this. I have my haircut appointment at three and then I have the You To The People's event later at six. From then to now, honestly, I'm just getting myself together, take a shower, make a nice little breakfast. I'm actually debating if I wanna eat actual food for breakfast or just do a clean diet just have some fruit some kombucha hit the gym I haven't been to the gym in so long and it's actually insane but i want to get back on that this week that's like my main priority or i would say my main goal is to get back in the gym and make a salad routine out of that and then just letting life move forward after that it's currently 9 36 and yeah, let's get this day started. I know my mattress should be coming in today. I think it's supposed to be delivered between, I think it said 9.30 and then one, which is really good because I just want to get it out of the way. They might really do look crazy. Cause I know when you get your mattress, you have to leave it out for like 24 hours for it to like fully expand. And I know with them bringing the bed in, hopefully tomorrow, I didn't get a text message for confirmation, but I did speak to somebody over the weekend and let them know, yeah, can we have this delivered on Tuesday? Cause baby, I'm tired of not having the bed. Let me get up and get this day started. I'm actually really excited for this event because they're gonna be having facials and it's been a very long time since I had a facial. Now it's probably not gonna be the exact facial that I need, like a deep, deep facial, but I need somebody to play in my skin today. Sounds crazy. Okay, let's get this face together. I feel like I've really been slacking on my skincare routine. I'm such a person who loves doing my skincare routine or just having it done at least in the morning. So I definitely think for breakfast, I'm just gonna have some pineapples and a kombucha. And now I'm gonna head to the gym. Well, it's Monday, so I'm going to be doing legs. Mondays used to be for chest day, but then I figured, I used to save leg day at the end of the week. Sometimes I don't make it. And I sure don't feel like doing legs at the end of the week. So I changed my routine to have my leg days on Mondays chest on Tuesday, and I feel like that's been a great improvement for my routine. So we're gonna do some legs today. Maybe not just legs. My whole thing is that when I don't go to the gym for a while, I jump back into it as if I was there yesterday, not easing my way into it slowly. So today will be a very, very light leg day. I may just work out for 30 to 40 minutes. Usually I like to work out for an hour plus, sometimes it'll be an hour 30. Now tomorrow, tomorrow's another question. Okay. I look so crazy and I think it's really because my mustache is so thick. It's like real, this ain't Texas. The real music girlies know 16 Carriages is that song. Another reason I know I haven't been on top of my skincare routine, these clean club towels, they've lasted me way too long. Next up, let's go in with this exfoliant. It's funny how you only want to get your lights together when you have your hair done. Maybe it's a Leo things, like Leos. We really need our hair done to feel our best. And when our hair isn't done, we don't want to go out, we don't want to be seen, we don't care to be in public spaces. I want to say Aquarius too, they're like that, but not to the extent because sometimes I just be down to do anything. And I feel like I would respect somebody if they're like, yeah, nah, I don't want to go out, my haircut is not good, or my hair is not together. You know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna respect the girls, you know? You're not feeling your best, so. Why would I even want you outside if you're not at your best? Like, I'm always need my, my, my fronters stepping. High heels on your tippies, come on. I really do love this Kills under ice cream. For some reason, it just does the job. Like, it does what it needs to do. I low key should get my eyebrows done today too. They're looking a little woofy. I'm just gonna go in with a moisturizer. I'm gonna be using You To The People. This is their Superfood Air Whip Moisture Cream. Okay, now let's get something to eat. And head to the gym. Yeah. So, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's kind of funny because, well, I'm now learning I'm not a Welch's person, but I've always passed this juice. And I'm like, passion fruit, it sounds so good. You know, I stick to the Minute Maid, you know, I raise on Minute Maid. But I always seen this was $4, and the Minute Maid is like $2. So I was like, it gotta be more expensive because it tastes real good. Why well, I had this last night, and it tastes like nothing but pure sugar, and then I read the back. 
Let me see, it has 58 grams of sugar total. That's, it's, that's insane. That's actually really freaking insane. So yeah, she's gonna be in the back for a while. I'm not too sure if I'm gonna be drinking her because that's a whole lot of sugar to be consuming in one sitting at that. But let's get some pineapple, I think. Yeah, I love some Synergy. They had sent me a package uh, full of different kombuchas, which didn't last not even like a week. Probably last like three, four days. Let's have this for breakfast. I feel like pineapple is a slept on fruit. Like the girls were crazy for strawberries, blueberries, apples. It's something about a good, sweet pineapple that just do it for me. I know you're not supposed to, I don't think you're, yeah, I'm definitely not supposed to shake this. Now that is some good pineapple. I feel like this week is gonna be really good. I don't know why. I just have a feeling that <laughs> you know, all your previous days at least been like real trash. But for some reason, I feel like this week is gonna be really good. I don't know why, but clean it. I truly love just sitting here and watching the traffic go by. Cause it's so therapeutic just watching all you guys drive and the whole background seeing all of LA. There's quite a bit of traffic today and it's actually very upsetting me. It's upsetting me and my homegirls. Cause I feel like, damn, if I can't get to work, where can I go? <laughs> okay, so before it gets too late, I'm gonna get dressed and head to the gym because I'm trying to be on my shit's not easy this week. Yeah, let's go. DMX shit. I group me and my exes. I tell them they belong to me. That goes on for forever. And I think we just get closer when we're not together. You tell me that I'm confusing. More immature than Marcus Houston. Cuts too deep for a band aid solution. We too deep in this thing and never lose me. LOL, LOL. I'm glad you find this shit amusing. Heard a lot about me before we started off. I know you heard of my pool parties like Mardi Gras. I know you heard of my girl is sponsored by Audemars. That's why she always corrected me when my time is off. And my house is the definition of alcohol and weed addiction. You got a different vision. You want to walk around naked in the kitchen without running into one of my niggas. That's not the way we living. Too much going on, it's just not realistic. These days, I don't talk about them days like I miss them. And you shouldn't miss them either, we different people. But every time we speak it, it's like a lot of games being played. How's it going down? It's on until we gone, and I got to know now. So I'm back home and when I was in a chair and the barber handed me the mirror to see in the final work, I just I just laughed and give it back to him because I didn't even do a full look. The glimpse I already knew what it was giving. It was a 10. I just said, yeah, it's another one. DJ Khaled voice. But I'm home. It is 542. The event starts at 6, but I'm not gonna be that girl and get there early. So I'll probably arrive at like 6.45, almost pushing seven because it's only 15 minutes away from me. So I have a bunch of time. So what I'm gonna do now, and all you guys had seen, I was kind of gagged. My mattress is here. Finally, <laughs> it's been 
It's been a long, it's been a long two months having no bed. But it's all happening. And I even got confirmation from the delivery guy. They're gonna deliver the bed and install it tomorrow. So baby, 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 baby. Baby, 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 baby. But I am extremely happy because in a sense that it's gonna be completed, like this area here is just not gonna be a wallless gap of nothing. Like it's gonna finally feel like I'm creating a space that I'm comfortable in. I mean, I'm already comfortable in, but just, you know, making it more homey. You know, that is something that you very much so need. And I just need more furniture here to just fill these empty spaces. So tomorrow is gonna be a great accomplishment and I am glad you guys will be here to witness it all. It's really raining out today, so I figured whatever I wear to the event is gonna give just cozy vibes. I feel like that was my vibes last time. Let's get ready for the event. Actually, I'm gonna wait. I think I wanna eat because I need my second meal of the day. Well, I guess this is my third. I know I had a really like breakfast, just fruit and a kombucha. And then for lunch, I had that bomb salad that I made. I feel like it's now it's given lunch time and we should get into some lunch things. Let's get into it. Really get into it. Uh, uh. TikTok will tell you so many things and it's like, if you don't properly store your rice after cooking it, it creates this bacteria that's very harmful to you. But at the same time, I'm like, I'm African. My generations have been eating rice upon rice upon rice. Even my family alone, like we can, we get the, the amount of rice that we've eaten in our lifetime will probably be enough to feed America. And I'm not even kidding. So, why am I not listening to a girl on TikTok telling me da 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 So I don't know. But maybe I may make up a new pot of rice. Maybe I might just, you know, work around the thing. Da -da 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 -da. But yes, let me clear this out because I hate when I leave like the little remnants of protein in my protein shake. And then it has the protein smell like shake that. Wow, I cannot believe I'm going to be sleeping on a bed tomorrow. This is nuts. This is insane. Like this is, I feel like this is history. Like when Obama became president for the first time, we had a black president, this is what it feels like. Okay, so I spent no time eating. I just started to get dressed and I'm kind of torn between these two outfits, even though this seems more completed than this one. I've actually worn this probably once, probably two years ago when I, probably no, actually this is probably three years ago when I first came to LA for the first time visiting. And I made this into a sweater vest and I cut the sleeves off, made it a little cropped. But I'm feeling like we're adding a blazer to this. Oh well, it's LA, so I can wear shorts. I'm thinking of pairing it with my Ricks. I feel like I like this a lot. And this might, this might be uh, coming to the ground to you soon. So y'all just, y'all got the first scoop if I actually go with this. Okay guys, we are extremely late and I'm not sure how time just passed like that. But I ended up going with this outfit I have on this blazer with this vest. It's actually sleeveless, but you can't really tell. I got Rue and this black turtleneck, so we got this, this goth vibe going on tonight. Very dark opium vibes are going on, and we're so late, need to hurry up, because the event ends at eight, and it takes about 25 minutes to drive there, so I'm only getting the last 30 minutes of the event, but honestly, something's better than nothing. Okay, so I'm gonna check in with you guys once I get to the event, and we'll see each other there. Love yours. No such thing. No such thing as a life that's better than yours. No such thing as a life that's better than yours. Love yours. No such thing as a life that's better than yours. No such thing. No such thing. Heart beating fast. Let a nigga know that he alive. Fake niggas, mad snakes, snakes in the grass. Let a nigga know that he arrived. Sleeping on your level cause it's beauty in the struggle, nigga. It's beauty in the struggle, nigga. It's beauty in the struggle, ugliness in the success. Hear my words and listen to my signal of distress. I grew up in the city and know sometimes we had less. Compared to some of my niggas down the block, man, we were blessed. And life can't be no fairy tale, no once upon a time. But I'll be goddamn if a nigga don't be trying. So tell me, mama, please. Okay, that concludes today's event, which is actually really dope. You guys know I love you to the people and they gave me a bunch of products, which I'm so glad. I'll show you guys once I get home because I'm pretty sure they gave me like another um, food cleanser, which I love and I was probably running low. So yeah, 
I'm gonna head home and probably do some editing because I was supposed to edit yesterday and I didn't edit and I would like to get that done. So I stopped procrastinating. I'm going to head home and figure out my life from there. So let's do that and I'm gonna catch you guys once I get home. Okay guys, I'm back home and I'm kind of annoyed because this fit is actually really, really cute. I love the fact that it just gives this shorts vibe. I actually have wore something similar to this, so I can't even take photos in it if I want to. So I gotta figure out another purpose for this sweater because I only really wore this once and that was literally almost three years ago. It's too cute to just let it go in vain, but you wouldn't even know that it is sleeveless. It is armless, babes. Really get into it. Really get into it, bro. I don't wanted to call it a night, but I know the early I get to sleep, the early I get to wake up. Let me take these clothes off and get myself together. I'm gonna be right back. What's up, guys? Welcome back to the vlog. It is a brand new day. I'm a brand new person, and yeah, I don't know why I said that, but I mean, it's all true, so. But I have unraveled this mattress, and well, I guess it's starting to like, starting to take form, but when I first opened it, it was so like skinny, like skin tea. I was kind of worried that it's not gonna be what it is, but it says it's supposed to take at least 48 to 72 hours for it to fully um, develop. So that's actually perfect because the guy who's supposed to come and deliver my bed just wrote me, well I wrote him, cause he never wrote me letting me know what time he would come today. He just let me know he would come today. Then he's like, oh, actually I meant to put you for Thursday. Is there any way we can do Thursday or maybe tomorrow? And I'm like, bro, we are supposed to deliver this bed frame. So what's like the delay? I'm like, I'm already over not having a bed. It's been a very long two months for you guys to deliver this. And now you want me to wait an extra day? No, ma'am, no. And if you think I'm going to leave a good review on the delivery, baby, <laughs> let me tell you something now, yeah. I ain't going down like that. But we are making some form of progress. It really does work because this is gonna take another 24 to 48 hours. Excuse me, it's gonna take another 40 to 72 hours for it to fully develop. So I'm about to get my day started. It's been a slow start to the mornings. I've just been like answering some emails and doing some email work. And now I need to get something to eat because I'm starving. Alexis needs my help moving because she actually just moved herself. So, but she needs my help moving. So I told her I would go and get my assistance. So I figured let me grab something to eat and then I can head to her. Rue, say hi to the camera. You need a haircut bad. I gave her a bath last night. Um, so she feels super smooth, but she needs, she can barely see through her eyes. So she needs, she needs to go to the groomer. You need to go to the groomer. But yeah, in other news, my haircut looks really good. It's day two. I actually am kind of upset because I just realized I just got hit for this one partnership. So I should have waited to get my haircut. Although I did need a haircut for the event. I just like to optimize my haircut in the most efficient way. And now that I have a partnership, I know they're probably not gonna send the products till this weekend. So baby, from today's Tuesday, from Tuesday to Friday, y'all gonna see me with a do-rag on at all times of the day, so you're just warned. Rue, you smell so good. But yeah, let me start and get this day started because I know Alexis is waiting on me and the girls always complain. I move like a turtle, which is kind of partially right, but you know, it's a lot to get this together. Rue, you're on this bed. I want you to enjoy it because you have a, you got a fresh wash and that. But baby, you're not going to be on the bed. You're not going to be on the bed. You're not going to be in the bed. Nope. 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 You're not going to be in the bed. Can you, I got you by the chin. Natalie, none in you. Oh, what's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? Okay. Um, before I completely waste this day, I'm just really excited. So let me get this day started. Let me go and put some food on my belly. And um, yeah, let me head to Alexis. Okay. Mm, my face is dry. So I have a ride to Alexis and my face is real dry. So excuse me. I didn't put no moisturizer on. 
We still, we still rocking it. We still rocking it. I feel like I need to invest into like another jacket like this because I'm always wearing this. And where I got it from, they had a bunch of these like these, and it's Carhartt, and I love Carhartt. Ooh, it's a lot of stuff. As soon as I come out, it's a lot of stuff. Ooh, this is why I hate moving. Moving is so much. You coming? A lot of work. All right. Arrived and my first task is to carry some eggs. Oh, you look so cute. I'm a mom. Of course, I'm taking my groceries <laughs> to my new place. Screaming. Y'all cannot tell me my boy's not fly. Like, who's who's stepping like him? Real stepper. Please, please shut up. You got this one rolling loud? Yeah, I think I see. <laughs> I was dare to even ask if it was real. What were you saving these for? What? All these candles uh, that are done. Mm -hmm. Memories? I know. <laughs> are you holding on to memories? <laughs> Wait, so is AJ about to be the new barber? Where's T? Do you really like him? He's bad. Hell yeah. Ah. I really like him better than fuck him. Oof. That T-Mobile double text me. I can't say. Oof. Baby, that shit is sale. Ah, not for permanent. No, babe. Once you. Ooh. Once you fuck with a real barber, this not going back. I mean, we're not even going to get into the lineup or the edge and not pushing niggas' hairlines back. Like, I went to him with, I went to him on once and he, he you know, fucked he up. Said that. You yeah, you only get one time to ever do that. This is more like, okay, I can, you know, weather the storm and we can figure it out together. Mm -mm, girl. I'm not trying to figure nothing out together. <laughs> <laughs> I need space. What's up, guys? Welcome back to the vlog. So, I am now home in Mikasa. Well, Sukasa. And yeah, today was a really productive day. I helped Alexis move into her new place, which I actually do love. I, I was, I'm not gonna lie, I was a little hesitant on it because I really wanted her to move into my place because I just love my place. And the penthouse that they had her in was actually really, really dope. It's like a three bedroom. You get like a full balcony overlooking the whole entire of LA. But you know, the girls had different ideas and different mindsets, so it is what it is. But I'm glad she sat onto her new place. It's actually really dope. I love like they have like a up and downstairs type of flow and it's actually really nice the kitchen is dope i love kitchens that just have like the whole cabinetry just like here it's invisible especially when it comes to the fridge it's invisible you know you don't really gotta see too much i'm about to take a room downstairs so she can use the bathroom and i grab some coffee i may be late to the girls who know who know i probably got put onto this like probably like a month or two ago but it's like this creamer from Trader Joe's. I usually like to get the cinnamon bun one, but this is their brown sugar, which is also really good. But go downstairs, grab me some coffee. Had an amazing workout yesterday. Like I'm, I was literally, got, I got the car today and I felt my legs, like, like I felt the workout being still worked out. So yesterday was a great leg day. I'm gonna go in for chest today and we're just gonna, we're gonna eat it right up. We're gonna eat her right on up. And then tomorrow, tomorrow's the actual day. Tomorrow I'm getting my bed frame, so I'm really excited about that. The mattress seems like it's already filled up the majority of the way. I'm pretty sure by tomorrow morning it'll be completely full, so it all works out. But he better be on time tomorrow because I'm not playing no more games. Like, I'm over this. I paid well enough money to have my bed be delivered on time, so yeah. You go potty? Go ring the bell. Show me. Go ring the bell. Good girl, good job, good job, bro. Let's go, let's go. Okay, so I am back with some coffee, Yana. I pretty much had all of it already. Um, I guess I'm trying to chug it as fast as I can so it can get into my system as fast as it can. Mm. That's really hot. Um, yeah. 
Uh, let me chase my do rag. I've been on all day, so I haven't seen a 360. Da, 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 da. It might be him, it might be not, but let's see. Let's see. Ooh. Well, waves on swim, so they hate on him, baby. Let's get into it. Also, I've been thinking about getting another tattoo. Let me know if it's too corny. Let me know. Let me know if I think it's too corny. I want to get Rue's like dog print on me somewhere. It's like, it seems like so cliche, but it's like I don't know. It's my pet, and it's my first, my first personal first dog as an adult. Because I've had dogs before, but they never really felt like they were mine anyway. But this is my dog. Like I went out and bought her, brought her home. That like this is my dog. So I feel like it would be cute to get. Like her paw print tatted on me somewhere. I don't know. Do I think that's too corny? Let me know what you think in the comments. Yeah, the black just does something. I'm a, I'm a real black guy. You know, once you go black, you know, back. Okay. Okay, so I finally got my gym clothes together. And I feel like gym, gym outfits matter. So stay tuned on that. But um, I'm going to be wearing this Nike Nautica top. This is probably my, one of my most expensive gym wear purchases and I feel like I barely wore this. I probably wore this maybe about three or four times and it's actually so far so I don't understand why. So I'm gonna go in with this tap. It's Nike down everything. It's Nike. It's Nike all day. I love the way it fits. It's just like go fit it on them. Did it on them. Picture number two's in it if you I got on these black Nike. Really getting to it. Uh, really getting to it. Uh, I'm gonna be going again with this one million. This is like the only, I know I mostly use the Cesaro as my everyday cologne because it just smells so good. I'm telling you guys, I get so many compliments on it like on a daily basis, like even when I'm hanging out with my friends and I'm like, what are you wearing? And I'm like, girl, I told you, this is the same thing I wear all the time. It's always Cesaro. So guys, never ever leave you wrong. This right here is my swag. So my camera battery died, but I had a second one on the charger, so. Let's get into this workout.
Making money all around me I look like I'm the man yeah, yeah. But I was gone all last week Tell me where have you been